Welcome to the Driver Podcast. This is your host, Stuart, and I'm doing an exclusive episode with myself. And what I mean by myself is by myself. So this episode is just talking about how I started the foundation um, and how I grew it. Uh, so as you know, in most of the videos, you probably hear about me talking about Butler Can Hill Foundation, where you can go to butlerkinhealthfoundation.org. I uh, will be started this for a mission of people a group of families and kids who can't help themselves you know they're homeless obviously but this organization i created to help the homeless i was once homeless before and uh, i know how it feels so i wanted to create this organization to give back to the community and i I just did not only want it to be here in arizona i also wanted it to be everywhere you know not just um not just in phoenix but any anywhere so what I'm doing is I'm growing it here so that it can be worldwide. I want this thing to be as big as American Red Cross, but only my, my version of it, you know? So you want to help people that cannot help themselves. I said that before in the beginning. I will say it again. A lot of people uh, find themselves in these positions not because they want to be homeless. It's because they fall in hard times, man. Look, let's be honest with ourselves. We're one paycheck away from being right with them you know but y'all let us off we didn't have any money you didn't have any family to go to where would you be just ask yourself that where would you be this is why i created an organization like this where people can come and get the help they need if i don't have the money i don't have the resources i'm gonna send you to someone else that can help i'm connected with some people here and uh phoenix and another thing if you're an organization and you're doing the same thing i'm doing hit me up you can email me at info at bullockandhealthfoundation.org and I'll respond. I get the emails that come directly to my um, actual phone as well. So, yeah, I started this journey back in 2021. Um, and it's just something, it really hits your heart when you have been through it. And you can you actually can tell, uh, and you know how it feels to, you know, not have a place to stay. You know, being up in a hotel, whether you're looking for your next meal. You know, these are the type of things that I wanted to do to try to help. Now, I may not be able to fill the void for everyone, but if I can help just one person, one person, that's all that matters. You know, I'm trying to do all I can, you know, because at the end, you know, we we all have something to look forward to. Right. Uh, whether you coming home to your kids, coming home to your dog or whether, you know, just whatever it is you have in this life, you only have one life, you know, and we want to do that the right way. So I'm uh, basically in traffic at the light and um, it's easier to record this because I'm not necessarily looking at the camera, but I'm just, um, yeah, man, this is a really exciting thing. I, I, I should have done this before. I didn't do it. So uh, this is another episode where it's just me talking about my organization and how we can help uh, better society in the community and give back. You know, I want to be able to do some some drives where I can get some school clothes, or, you know, some books or something like that. You know, it starts off small, but, you know, getting some donations in would really help. And just think about it. If you were homeless, wouldn't you want someone to help you? You know, like instead of just those people that come up to the lights and say, oh, they can go to these organizations. Oh, they can do that. Well, this is what you could do. You could donate to an organization like this that's giving back to the community, not just this community, but your community. So that's just a short little video about what I do. Um, I also do other things as well. Um, so it's not just me just doing videos and, you know, I drive for Lyft as well to try to generate some money from that. I have an Etsy store as well where all the proceeds go directly to it. So everything I'm doing is I'm geared to doing fundraisers, trying to get back and to help people that cannot help themselves. You got kids out here that that are homeless, you know, and their parents are too. And some of the shelters only take the women and the children in and leave the father out. Look, I want to capture all that, you know, and try to help them, you know, try to help them best I can. If I give them a dollar, five dollars, thousand dollars, whatever it is I can give. I'm going to try to do that. And by your support and your donations can help that, you know. So 
the homeless in today's society has went up a lot, a whole lot. So just think about that, what your money could do to help somebody else who is struggling to live, struggling to get something to eat. But I don't want to go on and rant too much on that. I just wanted to kind of tell you uh, the reason why I created this channel. I created this channel so I can help other entrepreneurs, other business owners who are out there who are scared to interview people, who are scared to walk up, need the resources, and, and don't have the time to do it. So support this channel. Well, this is what I'm doing here. I'm doing interviews so that I can get in touch with these people so you can watch these interviews and maybe you can get a job from it or maybe you can uh, reach out to some of these people that do, do these type of services you know so later on in some of these other episodes I'm going to get other people that are inspired that are wanting to start their businesses if they haven't even started it or just people that have been established in their field or business or trade and interview them so that's what I'm all about here I'm all about making other people's lives better because believe it or not it really makes me feel good to help others because some people need to help well that's it for this episode thanks again for tuning in you guys have a great day